This poem is untitled. It was written on Sunday, June 12th, 2016, at 2008, in Sweden, in Karlstad, Sweden, by me, Joe Provo. There's a pulse running through each of us today. My heart is heavy, but not like it is every day. It's pulsing today because 103 people were shot in a nightclub, the hottest gay bar in Orlando. In my skin, I have cuts that are healing. I put them there myself, alone late at night in the bathroom with the broken off blade of a tiny sized box knife. On my leg, the cuts are straight, lines, even rows, three patches of hued and soon of hued and sewn soil forming, a triangle altogether. On my arm, I carved fuck, put five slashes above that, which bled on the sheets while falling asleep beside my partner. My forearm is a spider web of splintered edges, and these marks I made, each one after a flashback, to being raped by my father. Four times he raped me. Four. At least 50 people die from this gunman, a hate crime the largest mass murder in U.S. history. This is not the first time our community has been attacked. This is not the first time. Let's all pulse together. Because too many of us have died in terrible ways, and there are lines on my arms and legs I make to keep believing in healing. I cannot see healing when trauma happens over and over and over again. I cannot see healing, and so my skin shows it for me. These lines faded pink, proving to me that wounds heal, blood clots. But if I have another flashback tonight, or another night soon, I won't believe it anymore. The healing, the trauma, the difference between past and future, then and now. I might have to remind myself again. I don't know how to heal rape. It's not like a cold or a flu or a gunshot wound. It's not like self-inflicted harm cut into my limbs, with skin cells closing the flesh back up. Rape doesn't heal that way. Something inside me is bleeding, but I can't stop up the blood because there is no bleeding. The rape was in my past. My present? I am lying in bed with my partner. They are asleep on my shoulder, snoring softly. We've just come home from Gothenburg, where today pride paraded through the streets. It's our holiday, the holiday for our family. And no matter what mockery the cis-heteronormans make of it, political parties banning queer people from peeing, from donating blood, from existing, still marching proudly in our pride, no matter what mockery they make of Stonewall and the trans women who fought bravely there, this holiday is because of them, because of safe queer spaces taken and made into places to fear. We are pulsing. We are pulsing. We are pulsing. Last night I sat in a room full of queers. It was safe enough to hold my partner's hand to even cuddle on the couch, and the whole time a feeling it was missing. This feeling, fear, was missing. It was safe. It was comfortable. We, were, we arrived home to Karlstad to the, new, to the news of Pulse nightclub. <clears throat> I want to gather every family member find us a place to be safe forever, to build the society we want so desperately. But utopias are imaginary. Human species is brutal. We are all the same species. I still want to gather each of you into a hug or a handshake or a kiss on your cheek. Our family was attacked. Our friends were killed. And I just want us all to pulse together for a while. Pulse with me. Let's keep living. Pulse with our friends, still fighting to stay alive. Pulse for trans women, for NBs, for people hiding in their closets, still all fighting to stay alive. I'm fighting to stay alive. I'm trying to prove healing is possible. See these scars on my arms, how healed they are. Pink skin growing in the shape of a fuck. Healing is possible, I think. I'm just not sure how trauma can be healed, how safety can be found, how any of us can be expected to sleep at night. There are gunmen, there are rapists. They could be your sibling or your dad, or a stranger who shoots up a gay nightclub at closing on a Saturday night. Happy fucking pride.